part two AKP. What does that mean? That is applied knowledge and in pediatrics, right? So this exam comprises of two separate exam, part A and part B. Part A exam will be held in the afternoon around 12.30 to 3 p.m. in between this time and part B will be around 6 p.m. to 8.30 or 9 depending on the on the time zone that time. So this part A and part B previously in case of part 1 part A was foundation of practice and part B was theory and science right but in case of AKP there is no such name why because in case of part 1 the two exam comprises of different type of questions this the questions for part A and the questions of part B were different but in case of AKP the same topic same number of questions will be coming uh, in our days around uh, 55 to 60 you can assume in part A there will be 60 question in part B there will be 60 question okay you can assume around uh, it was not fixed then around 60 question so in our syllabus those will be like respiratory cardiology and every system the questions will be from every system there is no specific dividation that the questions in part a will come only cardiology endocrine and a few and the rest of the systems are this no the cardiology questions will come in part a also and also part b so all the systems are important for both the part you cannot think that each one of the part will have this part will have only cardiology respiratory so part b will not have cardiology respiratory am I clear up to this point because every part will comprises of questions from every system okay it's not divided that part 1 will have this system and part B will have this system first of all this is the number one thing number two thing is in order to uh, complete this AKP you have to pass in the both the part separately if you fail any of the part you have to give this exam again in case of foundation of practice and theory and science the pass were, were separated like if you passed in for you passed later on you will give the test exam but in case of AKP you have to pass both the parts separately and both the pass mark will be separate sometimes you will see in the pass in the part A the pass mark is 61.25 assume maybe in the part 2 it was uh, 62 or 63 percent these are always different so you have to pass both the part AKP those who have already uh, given part one uh, AKP will be a bit easier for all of you the main clues we will be here that is why you are you have joined our course we will be here to describe the pros and cons the things how what to study what not to study but you, you have to consistent as always like for the part one you were consistent this is uh, which month this is March April May June July August five month is quite an enough time to study AKP enough time for all of you because already you have passed part one you know how the exam patterns you have already gone through this exam stress once so these in the next exam the exam stress will be very less for all of you okay so i believe regarding akp i have uh, discussed the exam process now come to the question pattern in akp first of all keep this in mind in akp questions will be a bit critical and tricky because in case of part one the clues I have told you uh, uh, who is here with us you can tell me that I have told the clues you have found those clues specifically in the exam right so in part one those clues were important that I pointed you out during our course right but in case of AKP I will also discuss the clues I will also tell you that this question will have this 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 clues but rather than those clues they will try to confuse you in a different way okay they will try to confuse you in a different way because this is a bit uh, this is the last theory part of this uh, Royal College degree right this is the last exam that exam you they will uh, see how much clinically well you are how much is your knowledge okay and in case of AKP other than the radiology CT scan MRI ECG EEG uh, you will have some I am telling you in AKP you will find ECG you will find EEG okay you will find audiometry 
you will find uh, ultrasono pictures you will find x-ray pictures CT scan report MRI report you will find investigation report also sometimes MAC3 or DMSI is also given so they will assess you by seeing the ECG EEG whether you can understand the diagnosis or not by looking at the audiometry you can understand which type of hearing loss is present okay by looking at the ultrasound you have to diagnose what they are trying to say the x-ray both the chest x-ray and abdominal x-ray both will be given so these things will be extra with the clinical scenarios am i clear so far there will be a clinical scenario like before and these will be extra and keep your mindset that in akp the question will be comprises of one page in foundation of practice the questions were small right the small small questions there were and it will be it was very easy to grab the answer from those whenever a question will be up to one page and half page will be the investigation report maybe the entire cbc has been given some of the uh, some of the findings were normal some of the findings will be higher or low or lower by looking at the investigation and these pictures you have to diagnosis this is the most concerning part for AKP don't worry the ECG EEG audiometry everything uh, we will clear for all of you so that you can easily understand why this diagnosis is that by, by looking at the EEG you have to diagnose by looking at the EEG you have to diagnose which kind of epilepsy am I clear this part is most difficult part for AKP but uh, trust us we, we have uh, compiled everything for all of you by doing only this topics separately with every uh, lectures and everything we have this and in the radiology class also you will get everything that will be enough for all of you so according to the syllabus as you guys can see we are reading two guidelines pediatric guideline and neonatal guideline right two books then survival guide then 50 cases of AKP then master course AKP so you see we, we are entirely reading these five books along with that as I told you before those ECG, EEG, MRI, CT scan these all things are not compiled in a single book that is why we have made some compiled lecture notes for the radiology, picture, for genetics, for palliative care and for uh, ethics these five things we have compiled from the different books so that you can have a precise preparation with you no one can provide you a single book for these things you know so these five books we have compiled from different course materials from different books so that it is in your hand in a compiled way other than these things you don't need anything else to study the recalls also we will provide the system wise compiled recalls you will also get so this these are the things you have to study within the six month other than that you don't need anything else as uh, as my uh, suggestion if you read only those things that we are providing from our course material you can easily get 80 to 85 percent mark uh, those who have done my part one course already shared that whatever we have discussed we we have compiled them that help them a lot to answer the questions that apply same for the part two only the course materials only the books and the specific notes that we are providing that is more than enough to get 85 percent whereas the past mass mark is 60 to 63 percent am i clear so far so until if you read this getting 85 percent is easily possible whereas the past mark is 60 to 65 63 percent okay Thank you.